Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 8th, 2022. Well, my goodness, yesterday those bears were pretty darn feisty, yes, uh, pushing us down. I had suggested um, in the pre market um, video yesterday that we could test the overnight lows and not only did we do that but we actually sold off a little bit more than that into the close so pretty ugly day yesterday but what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, obviously, we broke down some support yesterday in the charts, and I had suggested that yesterday that we would want to watch this area pretty closely. And that does set us up for that possibility of testing the low here in the chart on the diamonds. Our downtrend remains in place. However, I will say that in the short term, we seem to have a little bit of an oversold, short term oversold condition. And that does give us maybe that little tiny hope of a potential um, relief rally. But let's keep in mind, even if we rally, um, we have uh, significant overhead resistance. We have downtrends um, to be thinking about carefully. And just note that the, the sensitivity to everything going on over there in um, Ukraine, um, the worries about um, inflation coming um, later this week, the, the inflation reading coming later this week, could keep those bears relatively active. So watch that closely. However, it is entirely possible if we can get enough bullish action going, we could squeeze out some of those short positions and that could give us a nice little bounce um, rally to the upside. So watch carefully for that potential. But these resistance levels above are strong and we've got a lot of work to do to repair the technicals in the charts. Um, let's take a quick look at those technicals and notice that the 50 day moving average is now crossing down through that 200 day moving average here on the Dow. Certainly not a comfortable situation for the market. That 34 EMA continues to dive pretty substantially. And as you can see, this price resistance level in here is going to take some some work to get up through there. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Very similar situation I had mentioned yesterday to watch carefully for that possibility that we break this support level. And we certainly did that in a big way. And not only did we do that, we pushed on down through some of these lows and we do risk that possibility we could test this uh, February low here. But again, we're showing a little bit of an oversold uh, condition in the short term and that possibility of a little bit of a rally or bounce back up um, does look like a possibility. So watch this resistance level, particularly um, as we push back up here in the SPY, that's going to be a significant point of control that the bears um, could be lining up for a defense right in there. And then just keep in mind that downtrend still being in place. We could push up and rally all the way out into here, but still um, see additional downside in the market come into play. So watch that those um, resistance areas. Remember, as long as we're in a downtrend, as long as until we can break through that downtrend and hold a higher low out here, we still have to respect those overhead resistance levels pretty carefully because that's where we can find those rejections. Let's take a look at our uh, technicals here. 50 day moving average declining pretty sharply here. It uh, maybe this week we'll see uh, where that 50 crosses down through the 200 here on the SPY and that would be uh, our last index to join in that uh, potential situation and notice that 34 EMA crashing down pretty hard um, again short term oversold but we're going to have a lot of work to get back up through these big resistance levels in the chart if we take a look at our QQQ 
QQQ really took it on the chin yesterday, um, falling pretty hard, and we broke down through these levels of price support, as you can see, pushed down through that low in there, and we do run the risk that we could test that February low. But once again, that little bit of an oversold condition in the chart does exist. We continue to maintain this downtrend. So watch as we try to push back up, watch these resistance levels in the chart. We could hit some resistance in here. We could certainly hit some resistance right in here. And of course, this area crossed here is really substantial. So if we can push up that far, lots of resistance overhead to be paying attention to um, in the chart. And our technicals here are pretty darn dismal with the 50 having crashed down through that 234 EMA crashing pretty hard. We're getting really close to that 500 day moving average. And I will tell you, it, it's fairly common once um, you are in a bear market when we fail that 250 crossing down through here that we will see a test of that 500 day moving average. So watch that close. And then last Last but not least, our IWM. Our IWM, um, although um, saw some pretty heavy selling yesterday, didn't break down quite as bad as the other indexes, which is really kind of surprising because our technicals in this um, sector are horrible. But notice we kind of held on to a little bit of price support here and we're catching that bounce back up. Watch right in here, we are still in a downtrend and we have built some pretty substantial resistance levels in this chart. Um, before we even hit that big resistance level of a year's worth of price resistance. So lots of work here in these charts to correct these patterns. And the technicals here aren't any better. As a matter of fact, probably the worst of the bunch. Notice we've tested that 500 day moving average twice. We're close to testing it the third time. And we have that 50 day moving average that could end up just being a lid on um, the IWM um, right through there. So watch carefully. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX um, certainly expanded yesterday, pushing up the, as that fear come in. But I think there is some good news in this. Even though we did push up, notice that we really didn't break out of these highs. So, and I think if we were to break these highs um, in uh, our VIX, we have that real chance of a significant sell-off um, occurring in the market. But so far, we're still holding that lid on that chart. Unfortunately, we continue to maintain this upside trend. And I got to tell you, with the uncertainty that we see in the market and those pending CPI numbers coming out on Thursday, that worry is probably likely to stay relatively strong. Those bears are likely to stay relatively active. But if we can get a little bit of relaxation here on the fear, maybe a consolidation out into here or a pushback um, into that trend, that would be nice to relieve some of that pressure. We'll wanna be watching that 30 handle right in here for a little bit of price support, as you can see in the chart. And if we can slip down below there, it'd be really nice coming back down into this 25 area um, of the chart. So watch, watch Watch carefully as we progress here. The path forward certainly looks uncertain, and um, obviously we're we're going to remain very very sensitive to um, all of the impacts of Ukraine and um, the impacts of oil costs. Now. Um, please keep in mind, guys, that, you know, we kind of feel sorry for ourselves at times uh, because the market has been so painful to trade. But let's keep in mind, two million people um, have now um, rushed the border um, to flee um, Ukraine. They have it a whole lot tougher than we do. So keep in mind that while we suffer here in our market a little bit and it's been very, very challenging, um, it's nothing compared to what those folks are um, are having to deal with. So kind of keep that in context when you're looking at the market condition. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. Now our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And unfortunately, even with that heavy selling yesterday, we did not reach down here into that fully oversold condition. So there still is that possibility, guys, even though I'm talking about a, 
um, a potential bounce here. Keep in mind, if we have a little bit more pressure comes in on the market, new, more news reports of, of uh, problems over there in um, Ukraine, that we still have room that we could push on down here in um, T2122. So kind of keep that in mind. So if those bears have that opportunity to uh, maintain their control, let's kind of watch this area down here um, where we could push down into. But if those bulls, if those bulls find reason for um, upside opportunity and, or can really get maybe a short squeeze going or a little relief rally going, then watch that carefully. We have quite an opening to the upside if that can keep, um, if we can find that little bit of levity here in the market. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 um, with that selling yesterday, again, um, I'm starting to see just a little bit of, um, you know, glimmers of hope um, of a bit of a relief because notice our T2108 didn't come all the way back down here to the lows. So we held up in here. Now we still certainly have resistance levels above, but we're holding in there 31% of our stocks holding above um, our 40 day moving average, which is better than you would expect um, seeing us push back down. So there is that glimmer out there that we may be starting to see those bulls stiffen up a little bit and maybe a relief rally could be on on the way so watch that closely now clearly we're still in a downtrend and there's nothing about this chart that is overall bullish but at least we have that little tiny inkling of hope of a little bit of relief and our t2107 is pretty much the same now it clearly had a little bit more selling pressure but we didn't quite make it to those lows here in the chart um, running in a little bit of uptrend if we can catch that bounce notice we have resistance here we have resistance here in the chart and we have quite a downtrend in play but again just those fingers crossed that we might get a little tiny relief uh, beginning in the market but one of the things I want to uh, mention guys is I wouldn't cling to the hope that we're just going to race all the way back to the market highs as we've seen before because the uncertainty that we see here in the market the rising inflation the impacts on consumers um, those are are going to plague us for a while so just kind of keep that in mind and remember we're really running down on those earnings reports here um, in the chart or in uh, this quarter and the notables are really starting to sink away so not a lot of inspiration to really keep us moving and I kind of suspect we are going to have to watch pretty carefully um, because I think there is a chance that earnings may not be um, even as good as this quarter, um, next quarter. And remember, we're moving to toward the end of this first quarter pretty darn quickly. So um, keep that in mind. Let's take a look um, here at that um, economic calendar today. Today, um, we have just one thing that could move us around here a little bit. And it's one of those interesting things that we have chosen to kind of ignore here in the market. We've got international trading goods. Now we've been seeing tremendous deficits here. Um, uh, an ugly, ugly trade deficit as a matter of fact. And we've been choosing to ignore that. Um, how much longer we can do that, I don't know. And they're expecting that um, number to move up a little bit more, that deficit to widen a bit more today. So watch that carefully. And we do have some um, uh, three-year note auction out there. But I think um, as you plan forward, keep a close eye. We got those um, job openings reports. We've got the petroleum status in here. But here's where the big hangup for the week is going to be. And there's probably a lot of uncertainty surrounding what that CPI number could reveal um, as our food and energy prices just continue to soar. Um, um, it looks to me like um, we could see a higher number coming into Thursday. So watch that carefully. That could definitely, um, could, could 
engage those bears again. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we ramped up a little bit today on earnings. We've got um, about 130, 140 companies that are reporting today, but there's quite a few, uh, well listed on the calendar I should say, but quite a few of those are unconfirmed reports. But let's take a look at some of these notables. And if you wanna catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. Uh, DKS is um, reporting today and looks like we're bouncing up a little bit this morning on DKS. Um, obviously this has been in a substantial downtrend. We've got quite a little resistance above but maybe that could change that mood here just a little bit if that report can push us on through. Take a look. Um, we've got ABM that will be reporting um, today, so keep an eye on that. This has been obviously in a significant downtrend. We're testing the resistance of that downtrend right now. A uh, good report could maybe pop us through and get that moving to the upside. Uh, we're going to hear from uh, Casey. Uh, Casey today. Whoops, there we go. We're going to hear from Casey today. Um, obviously, it took it hard yesterday, big sell off um, into the close yesterday. So, watch that one carefully on its earnings report. We're going to hear from Wolf. And it looks like we're bouncing up this morning on Wolf, trying to get something going here. Um, pets, pet supplies been in a significant downtrend, but let's see if that can maybe turn around and start to push itself back to the upside. That would be a nice thing to see if we can start picking some of these up out of the bottom. Um, and then also let's take a look at WTI. WTI will be reporting today. This has been running hard and hot. Anything in that energy sector has been extremely strong. Um, although we're starting to see a little bit of topping patterns in here with some shooting stuff, uh, stars starting to show up. Um, oil continues to be very, very strong. A rest or pullback in here is what's needed and that could set up that um, next long position. So watch that close. So with that guys, remember, click that link below the title of the video if you wanna go back and look at that full list of notables. So let's take a look at some socks that could be setting up. But before we do that guys, if this is one of the first times you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also, thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do it. I know it's just kind of a pain in the neck to just repeat over and over, but thank you so much for continuing to post um, on the videos. Clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving those brief comments helps the uh, channel to continue to grow, and I certainly appreciate it. And yesterday I got a little bit busy and didn't get a chance to answer those, but I will be back on the stick here today. Um, keep in mind, guys, that this evening, if you guys are interested, you can come over to the Hit and Run Candlesticks trading room. We've got a free public um, e-learning session tonight that I will be doing, and I'm going to be talking about credit spreads. I've had several requests to talk about credit spreads, and I think one of the reasons is because we have been utilizing them to great effect um, um, so far this year, uh, making some really good money here in the market using those credit spreads and taking advantage of this wild volatility. So if you want to join us tonight, make sure you go to hitandruncandlesticks.com. Right at the top of the page, there's a link that says the free trading room. You guys are all welcome to join me tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So hope to see you there. Let's take a look at... Um, um, some of these stocks setting up, but please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. Make sure you understand specifically the risks that you are taking, that you understand the trade. It fits your trading plan. All right, never blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, if you guys remember, I'd been talking about BBBY as a potential trade, and oh my goodness, did that thing take off yesterday? I know there were some folks in right way options that I, I actually wasn't in this um, that made a huge, 
huge move yesterday on some news and um, locked in um, or cashed out on some really good profits. So congratulations to those folks who did take that trade. Watch that closely as this wrestler pulls back that may also set up another opportunity to the upside. Um, take a look at plug plug now plug power we're starting to see with energy prices moving up alternative energies are starting to show a little bit of bullishness and we're starting to see that here in plug power and notice here in plug we have that chart that um, we're we've got these rising lows we've broken through some resistance we broke our downtrend here and we're starting to set up that bullish pattern in the chart now plug is a very volatile stock and um, I ended up buying this just as a stock trade not an option trade because the implied volatility is so high but watch that one closely if you have an interest in that kind of um, stock it may be something to take a look at now we still have to um, watch this carefully here we have significant resistance in that chart so please keep in mind I'm not suggesting this thing's just going to take off and go to the moon in any way shape or form but it does show some pretty good patterns and it also displays that nice little rounded bottom breakout pattern where we break above the 50 and I'd be looking for that 200 up there as a potential target. Let's take a look at some others. If you take a look at uh, First Solar, First Solar looking pretty good. I mentioned this um, yesterday um, we're trying to break this downtrend trying to move to the upside now this is a little stretched out now the last couple of days so what I'd want to do is I'd want to wait see if I could get a little resting pullback in here for that next opportunity to the upside but keep an eye on that with oil prices surging we certainly could see some of these solar stocks um, improve to the upside in fact you can take a look at tan tan is the solar ETF and this is a beautiful little pattern right in here breaking that downtrend breaking through some resistance holding it as support starting to show that first sign of a higher low looking good in the chart and also in that rounded bottom breakout pattern and if you want to catch a full list of some of those that are starting to move this ETF in TC2000 they make that really easy you just click this little um, icon right here brings up a list of those charts that are moving and you can see we've got quite a few of them look at run in here nova um, looking good um, enph setting up looking good to the upside so keep an eye on some of those stocks there are some of those solars starting to look pretty darn good also i would suggest you might want to keep an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks uh, take a look at hershey hershey um, continuing to show lots of bullishness here um, again when we start to get real nervous about the market when we start to see um, things um, get really shaky um, um, defensive sector stocks tend to do pretty well and another thing that's moving this is the the inflation um, unfortunately the inflation is pushing these hard so Hershey looking good I think this needs a rest or pullback before you'd want to jump into that trade but keep an eye on that um, even stocks like KHC KHC looking quite good here pushing up yesterday as the market was selling off um, nice little pattern here breaking through um, resistance so take a look at stocks like that in KHC. You might also want to take a look at some of those metals and mining stocks um, out there. Um, FCX, as you guys know, I have mentioned this um, before, but one of the things that I like about this now is that it is pulling back, that we're getting a little bit of a rest um, in this big rally up. Notice this has broken through significant level of price resistance. So if this can hold a higher level of support, find that trend in here find that support I would look for that next opportunity to the upside and I think I'm gonna say I would I, I would uh, think that Alcoa would be um, whoops right in that same category with this resting pullback coming into play 
watch that as that pulls back into this trend, that opportunity that that could set up to the upside. Um, so with that, guys, there's a few stocks for you to consider, things um, that you might want to keep an eye on. Be kind of careful out there. Trade, trade small um, with the volatility and always continue to respect that resistance while we're in a downtrend. Remember, in big intraday whipsaws and overnight reversals are still um, very likely in this market. So trade wisely when you get those profits, make sure you take them. Everyone take care, have an awesome day. I wanna wish you all of the best and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care everyone.